I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, or Kakwadash for giving me a spirit to do this video. This video is a video of comfort and, you know, something to look forward to. Because what you see in the video, these different houses, man, very, very nice houses. Okay? But the thing is, when you compare it to our kingdom, it's not going to be even close. So it's really laughable. Though, if we were to walk into one of these houses right now, we'd be like, wow, you know, because it's way more than what we have, okay? But the reality is, is that these people don't really know how to live. These people don't really know how to build like it's going to be in our kingdom. So let's start at 1 Corinthians chapter 2, starting at verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear have heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which Yahweh Bashem Shai have prepared for them that love him. Now, when you read verse 9, you always got to read verse 10 because it fully explains what that really means. Okay, so let's read verse 10. But Yahweh Bashem Shai have revealed them unto us, so neither have it entered into the heart of man, to the mind of man, that we read in verse 9. But when you jump to verse 10, but Yahweh Bashem Shai have revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yeah, the deep things of Yahweh Bashem and Shai. So, for example, the gold streets, okay? Our kingdom is going to have gold streets, pure gold, okay? Like transparent glass, man. You're going to be able to walk on it and see yourself, man, okay? Another example, you read about the 12 gates, okay? Different stones and, you know, our infrastructure built up on another level, man. So the same thing that they're building their infrastructure with, which we see in this world, we're like, wow, look at that house, it's bad. It's going to be on a whole another platform, man, okay? So these things are revealed to us to be able to comfort each other, man. Like, look what we got to look forward to. But it's still beyond that, okay? So Yahweh Shai has revealed certain things to us, but the overall is a secret, man, and it's going to be a surprise overall, okay? So back at verse 9, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear have heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh Shemel Shai have prepared for them that love him. So these heathens, they didn't get nothing revealed to them, man. Okay? They have no clue. They think what they see in this world, okay, is the end all be all. But Yahweh Shemel Shai, and through his will, is going to show. We're going to show all these heathens how to really ball, how to really build a house, okay? Now, they're going to build the house themselves, but through wisdom, we're going to teach them how to really do it, man. Okay? It's going to be according to our way, the heavenly way. Okay? Because we're going to be gods at that moment. Perfect, 100% wisdom in all things, man. Including on how to build the perfect houses. All right? We're going to show out, man, in our kingdom. From there, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 9. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. So, spiritual things have been revealed to us, okay? Our infrastructure, how it's going to be built up. But that's still in part, man, because overall, man, the fullness is going to come when Yahweh Shah comes. Let's read verse 10. But when that which is perfect is come, Yahweh Shah, then that which is in part shall be done away. Right, man? So, we're going to fully, fully know, okay? We're going to fully, fully know how it's going to be in the kingdom. But what we do know, it's going to be beyond what you're looking at right now, okay? When we talk about the beauty of the earth, the beauty of our houses, our mega, mega, mega castles, man, okay? I wouldn't even call it a castle, man. It's going to be a new name because it's going to be something on earth that the world has never seen before, man. Heaven is going to be brought on earth, man, the kingdom of heaven. Just saying that alone lets you know it's going to be beyond what you're seeing, man. So when you look at these things, be excited because it's just a crumb of the overall pie, man. Like one little grain of sand compared to the overall sand. From there, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 7, starting verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord Yahweh. The Lord Yahweh, by Shem Shah, had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So ask yourself this Is Yahweh, okay, which this is his will, is he going to let what he has given these heathens to glorify in, in this world? outdo or be compared to what he's going to do for the seed he has chosen? Did it not say I have chosen you to be a special people unto himself above all the people 
So we're going to be above just by our spirits being perfect, being guys on the earth. Okay, our infrastructure overall, man. Okay, the whole nine of the whole kingdom. But when we talk about these different rich houses and, you know, showing out, you know, because they build a mega mansion on the earth, man, it's going to be way, way beyond that because he's going to show these heathens that you're not even close on my people's level. And I'm going to show it right in your face. Okay, you don't see them having gold streets. They ain't finna do it, man. You know why? Because they don't have unlimited. We're going to have unlimited. Okay, so our infrastructure is going to be built over gold, pillars of gold, this and that. It's going to be ridiculous, man. Different gemstones and minerals. It's going to be amazing, man. So like I said before, I'm doing this video to, to excite you, man, because what you see now ain't nothing. Okay, and we definitely get excited about that because we ain't had nothing. You know, who wouldn't, right? From that, let's go to 2nd Edges, chapter 2, verse 28. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall not be able to do nothing against thee, says the Lord Yahweh. Right, man, they're going to envy us. They're going to envy us because, for one, we're going to be immortal. We're going to be gods, okay? But what do the people worship on this world? Carnal things, especially Esau, man. They're not spiritual. So the way they get looked up on this world is what they have, okay? The carnal things. Look how big their house are. Look how beautiful their car looks, okay? Those type of things. So when they see us have those things, on another level like they have never seen on the planet Earth, oh, that envy is going to be strong, man, okay? They're going to be looking at them gold streets and be like, oh, man, man, these people are lucky. What a blessed people, man. They're going to be very envious. From that, let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right, and it starts with us, meaning our spirits is going to be changed to being perfect. Okay, that wisdom. Okay, because it's wisdom first, and then everything is going to be added. Okay, so when we get changed to being perfect, then what's left? The world, man. Okay, all the beautiful carnal things, rubies, diamonds, sapphires, emeralds, you know, land, cattle, slaves, etc., etc., right? Okay, so when it says not worthy to be compared, it's definitely not worthy to be compared with the stuff they have on the earth right now, man, compared to our king, compared to a part of our glory, okay? Because another part is what? Which is the main part, which is our spirits being changed. Us going from mortal to immortal, all right? Can't compare it. Yahweh is going to bring a whole other world to this planet, man, that the people have never seen. All right, from there, let's go to Isaiah chapter 60, starting verse 16. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, the other nations, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that the Lord Yahweh shall not shine, and thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, for wood, brass, for stones, iron. You see that? So everything that they build these different houses with, man, he's going to bring it on another level, man. So you're not going to see it like you're seeing what you see on the earth right now that wows you. You're going to see it in a whole different light. It's going to be a whole different meaning, a whole other world, man. Why? Because we're going to have ownership of the world, which these different minerals and different things come out the earth. And the earth is going to be renewed, man. Esau has destroyed the earth. So the earth is not pumping out like it should overall, man. But we're going to fix everything. The spirit, man, is going to be beautiful, man. So it ain't going to be nothing to make a whole house of gold because you're going to have that much. Unlimited, man. Think about that, man. So, yeah, they're going to be very envious, man. So, hey, just want to hype y'all up in the spirit, man. Hey, what we got coming to us is going to be beyond, beyond what you can think about, man. Even though we have certain things that have been revealed, like gold streets, okay? What I just read for brass, I bring gold, etc., etc. But it represents on a whole nother level, man. It's not going to be compared to what you see on the earth when it comes to houses and mansions, etc., okay? Hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Bukar, Kodash. If you give me the spirit to this video, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to your Akamath that is doing the truth and sincere. Shalom.